Hey everybody, how are you doing? Um, we're back again for some more uh, Dead by Daylight. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to open the window. <laughs> and let's get to it. So I think again, we're probably going to play as the killers. Um, because of, as I said, I've just got some new characters. And I'm really loving the Leatherface one at the moment. So I'm going to stick with that one for the time being. And maybe level him up a little bit. So let's play as a killer. Let's just get straight into it. Okay. There we go. So Leatherface is already selected. Let's have a look at the Blood Web. Let's get him up, leveled up a little bit. <laughs> level 13. I think it's level 15. You get an extra perk, don't you? The extra... I think you get three perks at level 15. I can't remember. Ah, you can't make it all the way up there. Level 14. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh no. Tried to get an extra perk in, but never mind. Right, so I'm going to ready up now because I don't have enough blood points to level him up anymore. I do like the. I can't remember what, what the perk's actually called. Um, his barbecue and chili, this one. So when you hook people, you can see where they are on the map, the other players, when you hook them. Um, so for four seconds. So I, w I really want to level this up. Um, Franklin's demise. It makes the uh, survivors drop an item if they're carrying it, and the item will be lost uh, after 120 seconds. So again, that's a really big advantage. I kind I kind of like the play style of Leatherface and Spies from the Shadows. I like this. But yeah, level 15. I get four perks at level 15, not three. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably use the other one. Um, I think, is it Knockout is the uh, the other perk? I can't remember. There's, there's a few perks that are just um, specialised for Leatherface. Okay, let's get into it. First match of the night. <laughs> I've, um, I started bin binge watching um, Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. I watched uh, both season one and season two in literally two days. It's really, really good if you haven't seen Unsolved Mysteries. I like the classic episodes as well. Um, they're all on YouTube. Uh, but I watched every single new episode I could in literally two days. <laughs> Yeah, some really good stuff, uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Obviously not the mysteries themselves with people going missing, but I just like the new way of editing. How? <laughs> Howdy, how are you doing, Call of Raven? <laughs> just talking about Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. Uh, absolutely excellent. I've literally watched every single um, episode of the new series in like two days. Is that good? Right, here we go. So yeah, Leatherface is my new favourite character, I think. I'm doing fine, thanks. How are you, Call Raven? I'm ill. Oh, no. Oh, we haven't... Uh Got the dreaded COVID. That's what I was worried about um, last week. Oh, something happened over here. Someone running. That's one.
full of cold off flu. Yeah, I, had, I think I had cold off flu last week. I don't think it was. Um, but a close family member of mine tested positive recently uh, for COVID, so could have been. I reckon. I don't know if the tests are one hundred percent accurate, so I don't know. I, I was quite ill oh, last week. I was in bed literally the whole week. Oh no! The panels are back. The pallets are back. Oh god. Which way did they go? All the way into the house. I see someone else running in the distance as well. I'm going to try and focus on one player. I think it makes a big difference. Which way did she go? I didn't even see where she went. Oh, the chainsaw blocked my view. Where'd she go? Oh, she went up there. It's one. Yeah, I didn't realise the chainsaw went that high. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Um, well, she's not too bad, the, the person who's got COVID. She's all right. She's fine. Just like the old temperature. It's like really mild symptoms. But yeah, she tested positive, unfortunately. How many people are injured now? I've lost, I've lost count of how many people have actually hit. I get rid of these pallets as quick as I possibly can. Is she on the floor? Yes. Right, so I should be able to get this one on the hook and I should be able to see where everybody else is. I've hit two. <laughs> Can't see if anyone else is nearby. I don't think they are. She's okay. Yeah, like I said, it's it's not the end of the like you know it's not really really bad if if you do manage to get it, you can't help it. It's obviously something you don't want. So just be careful, just precautions and all that. I thought I seen someone run. Oh yeah, they're in front of me. Where do I keep seeing them? I keep seeing like, oh right. God's sake. I think I've seen somebody else over here as well. I'm sure I've seen somebody else. I'm sure there was two. Oh, I hope you get better soon, sore throat and, and snuffly. I'm always snuffly though. <laughs> always got like a blot nose. Just a year round thing for me. The strange thing I had last week though. Uh, when I was ill, I was just tired constantly, like, my whole body was aching. I just couldn't even, like, sit up and play Xbox. I was just really, really tired. It's so strange. Like, usually when I get colds, I'm not... I don't really get body aches as such, but yeah, it was terrible last week. Especially with my knees as well. I felt like an old man. I couldn't even walk. <laughs> oh, I've lost track of him now. Yeah, it's always worth getting tested. If you are in the UK, I think it is free for tests. You just go on the government website and just apply, and they'll send you one to your house. So it's better be it's better to be safe than sorry. Just uh, you know, to keep you and your family safe, like social distancing and whatnot. Like, luckily, I live on my own now, so I don't have to worry about the rest of my family. But like, I used to live with my mum and dad. Um, 
about a year ago. So yeah, it would have been worse if it was uh, if it was still home with my parents. Oh man, I failed so hard. I didn't even see how many generators they've done. God's sake. All right, yeah, I, I was, yeah, I got tested negative as well. It's a bit suspicious though, because the person who tested positive, I was in contact with like for weeks, so I don't know. We have very similar symptoms, but it, it's gone now. I should say like some of the symptoms have lasted a bit longer. Like I still feel a bit tired from time to time. And the, um, the sense of smell and taste has gone a little bit, so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's good in some ways, because I should have the antibodies if I did have it, so. Swings and roundabouts, it's a positive and negative thing. Is it me or is it glitching a bit tonight? The like the frames or something? I don't know what's going on. Oh hello Diddy Ranger, how are you doing tonight? I'm just losing my mind on uh <laughs> Dead by Daylight. I think I'm seeing people when I'm not. <laughs> I've got to get at least one. Oh come on, tree got in the way. How am I missing this person? No! <laughs> God's sake, everyone escapes. Alright. <laughs> She's on the floor. Oh, she escapes as well. No way. I don't know whether to wait here or... <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Ah, it is a test. It's a warm-up, this match. It's a warm-up. <laughs> I was hoping to get this last person. We were talking about Unsolved Mysteries before as well. If you've not seen that on Netflix, I'd highly recommend it. Oh, there they are. Just ran off into the distance. Ah. Let's continue. Let's hope we can play a bit better. Let's hope we'll get some people next time, some of the survivors. <laughs> Oh, we've got 10,000. And maybe I'll skip to level 15. Let's have a look. Oh, not enough. Needs to get to level 15 so we'll get that fourth perk. Yeah, I want to see what these other masks are as well. It'd be interesting. I hope one has like the makeup on as well uh, from the uh, I think is it Chainsaw Massacre two or three, where he's got like the weird like lipstick and like blue eyeliner on. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. As like a killer mask to chase people with. Always freaks me out that one. <laughs> Right, come on. Oh, there's the Bill. Oh, we've got, we've got to get Bill. We always hate Bill. <laughs> come on, ready up. It's always one. Always one.
I um, also updated the uh, Discord server with a new channel, or what, what do we call it, like category, um, free streamer stuff. I, can't, I think I called it free streamer stuff. But yeah, anyway, there's loads of links there for if you need anything for your own streams, like overlays or logos and stuff, just like a few resources that I use. The one at the bottom has the um, Stranger Things overlay pack as well. Uh, call the Raven, oh, you, you know you wanted that. Uh, Stranger Things pack, that's the yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd mention it. I did get round to updating the uh, Discord. <laughs> Yay, thanks. No problem. So say I, I'm always finding things online and I think, oh, it's that brilliant this, I'm going to use it. I never use it, so yeah. I'd rather someone else get some use out of it. <laughs> I was considering using the Stranger Things overlay pack, but I don't know. It's um, it's basic if you like the kind of minimal look to your stream, if you know what I mean. Oh, no worries. Oh, I think you've just seen someone here. If it went down the stairs. I'm sure I've seen someone's head walk past the um at the window then. This little window here in front of me. I'm sure I've seen someone's head walk past. I think they must have been walking slow, so I didn't see the uh, the red patches on the floor. Scratch marks, whatever they're called. Just not seen anybody. Ah, there we go. <laughs> that would have been a bit too convenient if they were there. Getting closer. Here we go, Bill. Oh, no. Missed him. Where did he go? Hey, Bill, go away, Bill. Oh, come on. That's one hit. I'm sure he just ran in there. Where the hell? Yes. <laughs> Got Bill. Yeah, let's just bully Bill. Let's gang up on Bill. <laughs> there we go. I think somebody else is injured as well, somehow. I think I've only seen Bill, but somebody else is injured. Stay there, Bill. <laughs> Hope no one comes for him. <laughs> Uh, someone fixed the generator over here. <laughs> Trying to sneak about, eh? Right on her. Yes. 
Perfect timing. <laughs> and I think it's a hook right here as well, I think. No, it's a generator. Never mind, we'll just have to use this one. I think Bill's nearly dead. Oh no, he's been rescued, I think. Yeah, he's been rescued. But I can see him limping away, so I'm going to try and get Bill. <laughs> Can't have Bill being rescued. Oh, he's back at this generator. Running off into the distance, I see there, Bill. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, where's he gone? Let's see. Where are you going, Bill? I hate it when they do that, like spin round really quick. I always lose track of them. It's a good tactic, but geez, I don't know where, you, where they end up. It's like they run towards me and disappear. You're losing track of people. I hear Bill somewhere close. Where the hell? I hear him. He needs to stop the six. <laughs> yeah, he does cough a bit, doesn't he? So there's three generators left to go. Oh no. Please be Bill. Yes, I've got Bill. Yes. Thank you, you little crows. <laughs> Can't find a hook. Where's the hook? Oh, never mind. One in this building. Please don't escape. There we go. Oh, God. Oh yeah, <laughs> I have to actually allow the comment or deny it. I have to click off because you put the uh, that word for cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, I, I do apologise. It's a bit uh, a bit sensitive, shall we say? <laughs> Auto mod held for held a message for reason. Identity allow. Will it post it to chat? It don't make any sense. The bot message doesn't actually make any sense. <laughs> it's like, held a message for reason, identity, allow, will post it to chat. What? <laughs> oh, how did she get away with that? Do some parkour or something. Watch this parkour. Oh no, I totally messed that up. I do not I do not know what I'm doing. Only two generators left. At least I killed someone this time. What's going on here? Is that another person? I'm sure there's, there's two people around here. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily test the bar because knowing my luck, it wouldn't like filter every single word. <laughs> It'd just be like the really um, simple stuff. <laughs> oh, come on! That pallet was placed there by mistake. On purpose, sorry, not by mistake. I didn't even see it. I try and focus on this person. It seems to work when I focus on one survivor. It seems to pay off.
Why did she run into the corner? That makes no sense. Right, where's the nearest hook? That is the question. Nope. Don't you dare wriggle free. Nope. 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 There we go. Oh, she's dead instantly. Nice one. So someone's over here. Let's go after this person. I mean, it's the guy who's already injured at the beginning. He's been injured for a while. And I think he's running as well. He's right there. Is it another bill? No, it's not. Yes, perfect. Might actually win this one. There's only one generator left to go, but I might actually win it. Who knows? Let's have a look. There we go. Can't see anybody else nearby. Is that one generator left? Oh, he's coming for him. One hit. I think he's going to get him off the hook. I think he's going to get him off the hook. I knew it. I knew it. Trying to get people off the hook, eh? Oh, he just made it over there. For God's sake. Are they below us? Where the stairs? Here are the stairs. <laughs> the, the marks let me right to him. Come on. I don't know whether I should have wait for the other guy to come down and try and save his friend. Oh, I don't know. I think he's trying to... Wriggle free, which is not going to help, I don't think. Let's go and try and find his friend. It's got to come for him. We might actually win this one. <laughs> Yeah, he's dead. Nice one. Right, so there's one more generator to go. I'll have to keep my eye out for this other guy now. I can't have him escape him. Oh, there's a trap door somewhere. Uh, I'll try and stick to the main corridors. Let's see if we can find the trap door before they do. Keep me out for the trap door. <laughs> what the hell's he doing out here? Please be a hook nearby. Yeah, there's one just through his door. And I think we won it. Nice one. Fatality. <laughs> yeah, we've got all four people. Nice one. Hopefully now I'll be able to level up to level 15. Yeah, with that... Alternative word for cigarettes. I don't know whether it translates well in America. So maybe like in you, in England, we say it as cigarettes, but 
maybe in America they don't recognize it as cigarettes, so maybe that's why it's uh, a blocked word on the uh, on the uh, stream bot, whatever it's called. Right, let's have a look at the perks. Load out. So I can have a fourth now. Oh no, it started. That's going to quickly put my fourth perk on. Oh, no, blood web won't load out. Oh, the one's in the basement. That's pretty interesting. Whispers. Unrelenting. Bitter murmur. I can't remember what other perks are... are um, Unique to Leatherface. I know Barbecue Chili is. I don't know if this knockout one is as well. Possibly. I'll try the knockout one. Okay, yeah, we'll use that. Make them crawl a bit um, slower when they're, when they're knocked out on the floor. I think it also stops the other survivors seeing where I've knocked somebody out as as well. If they're 25 meters away or more, they don't see if I've downed somebody. Feel a bit better now I've got four perks on Leatherface. I, could use, I can use all his, um, his special perks, his unique perks. So when you actually comment something negative, does it actually like warn you if you're if you're trying to type something like don't try it, but I mean if he's that that word you used last time, if you type that word in, does it give you a warning before you send the message or will it warn you after you sent the message? Because I don't actually know how the um the chat bot works. Cause I think it have a because on my screen it just shows that it's taken the the message out and I can actually allow the message or deny the message but I'm just wondering because last night you typed in the word ass and it gives you a warning for profanity that was quite funny and then immediately after it complained that it wasn't correctly set up <laughs> like yeah thanks for telling everybody that you're not correctly set up but cheers <laughs> so it's like Please help me, Hearty Crayfish. Please set me up correctly. <laughs> I can't do my job if you don't set me up correctly. Ooh. I've, I've, this um, Dead Dog Saloon, this is the first map I played when I first started playing. It's the first ever map I played. But I think I've only played it a couple of times since then, and I haven't really played... I haven't really been playing much on this map, is what I'm trying to say. But when I first started playing, I kept finding... Oh, hey, someone's up there already. Wow. I'm going to try and get this person then. Where have they gone? <laughs> I don't like the doors in this one. Let's have a look over here. Ah, healed herself.
There's a one. Again, let's just try and focus on the one player this time. Is the first one here. Oh, they just fixed the generator as well, I think. That's there. I really need a hook. Is this a hook over here? It's a hook over here. Oh, I thought it was facing the other way. That's not good. There we go. So I had a raven um, signal around this this area just a minute ago. Ah, I've already got him off the hook. I knew somebody was nearby. Right, which way is she going? Try and cut her off. There she is. I thought he would go sprint forward a little bit, but never mind, forget it. I'll have to hit with the hammer instead. <laughs> wrong time, wrong timing with that. Right. I think there's a hook here. Yeah, there's a hook just behind me. Perfect. Oh, there's only two generators left. Someone's over there. I might just wait until she dies because it's not going to be long. I know someone was running towards us a minute ago, so... Ah! Right there. Missed. One. There's two. Lucky just caught at last minute. Right, come on. Let's get this one on the hook. There we go. So she's still injured over here. One. Ah, oh, they're off the hook again. They've only got one generator left. I see them heading down this way. I'm just going to destroy his pallet here because I think they're going to come back. Very quiet around here. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. It's not good. Oh, 
Oh, they're trying to escape as well. I've got to try and hook one before they escape. Yes! Let's try and hook this person. Boom. Ah, oh, they've already left the door open. Ah, oh, they've escaped! They've escaped! No! I hit the wrong one. I hit the wrong one. Oh, they all escaped. That was terrible. I thought I hit the one they're just downed, so they should go down straight away. No! Can't believe it! <laughs> God's sake. <sighs> I was at least I'm level 15 now, at least I'm level 15. Uh, let's have a look what's over here now. Deer Stalker. Barbecue and Chili level 2. That's interesting. Barbecue chili level two. I think that's the one that helps you see the people once you hook them, I think. So if you hook somebody, you see where the others are. Yes, let's get that. Um, what other perks are there? Deer stalker. Shop lubricant, what the hell's that? I was going to just, yeah, I was going to try and get to the next level. There we go, level 16. What's this here? Hex. Thrill of the Hunt. Don't know what that is. Serum. Let's have a look at loadout. I'm ready up, I'm ready up. Sorry. It was me that time taking my time in the lobby. We'll do it next round. We'll have a look at the perks a bit more. Let's hope we do a bit better this time. Hey, that last game weren't the best. <laughs> so like sometimes you get the teams that just get all the luck in the world, like just I don't know, just very very lucky in the right the right place at the right time, and you just avoid you. And sometimes you're you're the lucky one being the killer, and you have no luck at all. Yeah, I didn't even kill anyone last last match. I think that was the first time tonight we haven't killed anyone. Here we go. Oh, it's the saloon again. <laughs> Right, come on. I think somebody always spawns near this main building in the middle. Yes, look, there's two of them there in front of me. There's two of them right there. That's one. Wow, that was quick. Here we go. So someone's on the hook straight away at the beginning of the match. She's wriggling quite a lot though. There we go. First one on the hook. Here we go. Someone's there right in front of me. Look at these people creeping about. I think I'm stupid. Yes, I got another one. Wow, that was quick. Still no generators left. Wow. 
Still five. Still all five left. Wow. There we go. I think. Oh, they're healing her. They're healing her over here. Right where I just knocked her. Here we go. Running straight towards me, I think. I think they're going to attempt to do the same out and they're going to rescue the other one and then um, heal her back up again. There you go, there's one. I think there's a hook on the ground. Oh no, I think the trap's in here. I can't get out. Oh wait, can you get out of here? Oh, this sucks. I'm actually stuck in here. How is it allowed? How are you supposed to... Oh, man. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. That's why I hate the doors. The doors in this are terrible. Where is she? There she is, right in front of me. Yes, perfect. Right, I'm going to try and stay near the actual person at Hook because they keep taking them off. But it's good because I'm distracting them from the actual uh, the actual generators. They've still got all five generators to go. They're all, all up here. I'm going to go for this one now. I think it's going to get it down. There we go. <laughs> I have to get one of them down at least. Kill them. There we go. That's got to be it. There we go. Get rid of these doors that are getting in my way. Was somebody in here? The hell? So strange, that's never happened before. Nah, they're right here. Back on them. One hit. Come on. Nearly. Nearly, nearly. I wish that door was open. Ah. Oh, no worries, uh, Call, Call of the Raven. Um, we just... Uh, we killed one so far this match and have injured another. Keep losing them though, but they've still got five generators. They still haven't fixed any generators yet, which is pretty good. Quite happy with it at the moment. Having a pretty good game. Oh, they're up there. I see ya, I see ya. There we go. I knew there was up here. <laughs> See the friend. Switched it up a bit and thought, you know what, I'm going to go for your friend instead. 
Look, she's up there as well. I know she's going to jump down as soon as we move away. Both up there. Come on. Come on. I can see you. I wish I had the uh, tomahawks. <laughs> I don't care. You've got five generators to go. You're not uh, jumping down and saving her. Are we coming? You sure you want to come over here? You sure now? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Right, let's get on another hook anyway. There's another one down here. Perfect. Perfect location. There you go. That's two. Let's hope the last one doesn't get into the um, into the hatch. I feel so mean. Camping. There's one. I think she's at it as well. Come on. Yep, there we go. One left. Now the hatch is nearby somewhere. I just heard somebody else. They're down here. I swear I just heard somebody. Might have been a crow or something like that. Still no generators fixed. But I need to find that hatch. Before they do. Hope they don't escape. Come on. It's such a good game for it to be ruined by one person escaping. I hear it. I can hear it. can hear it, just don't see it. What the hell is it? Can you hear it as well? That is so strange. Break down this door, see if it's on the other side. I swear I could hear that hatch then. There it is, there it is. Well, the hatch is closed. <laughs> told you I'm a noob at this, I told you I'm a noob. Just couldn't figure it out, I thought it was inside the, the building, the actual room, but no. Find the exit, so, oh yes, so they can actually open the exit now, can't they? Where the bloody hell are they? They're hiding pretty well. Are they at the exit? Ah, they escaped! No! No way did that last person escape. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. That was so close. I just couldn't find them. I wouldn't mind, they didn't even fix any generators. Let's have a look at our loadout. Uh, the blood web, sorry. Ah, start again. Yeah, I'm loving Leatherface. I think Leatherface is my new favourite. I'm ready up anyway. 
What's this down here? Um, level 17. Just concentrating on the perks at the moment. I want to level him up, make him better. Oh, never mind. Let's go. Yeah, I don't like that about the game, that you can actually still survive, even though you don't actually fix any generators. I think there should be some rules or something where... Like that there, when, on that game, where nobody did anything except, it's like, run. <laughs> like, there should be something there to stop the survivors just escaping just by waiting it out for that long. Because you could literally just sit in a, in a cabin or something, you know, little cupboards, and hide in there. You wouldn't know they're in there. I know, a bit of a sore, sore loser sometimes. <laughs> I've noticed as well my overlay has stopped animating, which is weird. I've never actually seen that happen before. Just one second, I'm trying to fix it. There we go. Back to live scene. Yeah, there we go. It's animating again now. <laughs> I don't know why it stopped. So strange. No, it's good. I agree. <laughs> I think it's my favourite map of them all. It's similar to the curtain call one. But I like the big building in the middle. That was a hit. Oh, I dropped the bloody pallet though. Didn't see which direction they went. This way. I'm close. <laughs> so I've injured too. Yeah, I thought there was two people over here. I didn't know if it was that what was being triggered. But somebody's there. Yes, they're down. First person down. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> there we go. Keep forgetting to look as well every time I hang someone. You're supposed to like keep an eye out to see where the other players are, but I always forget. Still got five generators to go, that's pretty good. Hello. So every time I hit them as well, they drop the item they're carrying, which is pretty good. I like that. Oh, she's going for the survive. The uh how did I miss? Hit her again. God's sake! Now the fixed one just there. 
but everyone's so close to me. Yes, down. <laughs> right, I think if I get her on the hook now, that should should be her dead, I think. Oh! Decisive strike, just about. Which way did she go? Did she go in the basement? In here? I didn't see which way she went. Where, 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 where? Where, oh wow, there's quite a lot happening. Quite a lot happening. They're doing well, this team. Does somebody fix it? Is <laughs> I thought it was one fixing the generator. I was like, I'm sure I see someone over there in the distance. That was the nearest hook. Uh, oh, it's the generator. There's a hook right here. Here we go. There they are. Hello. Trying to fix this one, I think. Run, little piggy, run. I hate that when they run towards you. That is so annoying. Oh, yeah. Classic. Oh, yeah. It's bloody typical. So annoying that when they run towards you and you miss them. Oh, is it like hit detection or something? Like it stops. I don't know, you're hitting them for some reason because they're that close. Ah! I was sure he went in here and hit to hide, but never mind. Oh, he's there. I see him, I see him. I see the other person as well. Let's get this person. One. How did I miss again? Yes, I got a. <laughs> All right, come on. Got got two to go. Two to go. Nice. <laughs> I see her. I see her coming to save her. <laughs> I've got to get at least one person. Here we go. Where's the nearest hook? I don't think... Wait, there's one here. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> I thought I was going to go the exact same route again. Oh, come on. I hate them bloody pallets. Go away. Ah, I'm in the open now. You dead man now. Come on. Yes. Where's the nearest hook? There's one right here with your name on it. Now right, let's have a look around. Don't see anybody else nearby. 
I'm hoping to get that at K1 because I think if I hook her next time, uh, I think she's dead straight away. Two generators left. It's not, not the best. This one's nearby. Come on. There's somebody nearby. I know as soon as I walk away, they're going to be straight on it. I've just fixed this generator here. Come on. It's on. <laughs> Come on. Yes, perfect. Right next to a hook as well. Perfect. Let's have a look see if there's anyone nearby. Where is everyone? Oh, I can't see them. Quite wide open here as well in this this part of the map. I like that about it. You can see see quite a lot in the distance, which does help. Ah, oh, this one's right there. I think this person here, if I down them, they'll instantly be dead. Which way did she go? Oh, they've opened the gate. No. I've got to get this person. I've got to get her. Oh, no. Oh, I've lost her. Damn it. Not in here, is she? No. So close. I bet they're going for this one over here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Where's uh Oh, they're healing themselves as well, which isn't great. Down here, are they? Let's hope they don't escape. Oh, I can't go through there. No! Don't you dare be open. Don't you dare be open. No! No! Damn it! Oh god, three of them escaped. A few got close to dying though. A few, a few got close. Right, I think I might uh, play as, as a survivor uh, for the next few rounds. Let's play as a survivor. I need to level up Laurie Strode anyway. They were Egypts. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think I met me match a little bit tonight as a killer. Some of the teams have been really good. Uh, what's this here? Uh, Deja Vu perk. What level is she? Level 7. 
So we'll go get to level 10. Ah, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for that one. <laughs> yeah, it's ready up anyway. Oh, I also found Reanimator on YouTube as well, and I put that on Discord. Uh, the YouTube, um, sorry, the YouTube link for Reanimator, the full film. And it seems to be HD as well, and it was, I think, it was filmed in the eighties. So yeah, it must be like a HD remaster because it looks really, really good on YouTube. I'm surprised it's actually on YouTube because it's a quite well-known film. I think the second part was on there as well. So yeah, there's some good horror films on YouTube. I think I watched uh, The Wrong Turn 7 the other week. I can't believe there is seven films, The Wrong Turn. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good. It's more like a psychological horror, which you wouldn't expect from Wrong Turn. <laughs> Defo worth a look. Yeah, it is, yeah. I always come across these weird like Chinese ones as well. The Chinese horror films where they're kind of like a comedy. Uh, there's a really mad one I watched where... There was this guy who was getting chased by this vampire woman and instead of the woman biting him, um, he started like fondling her, her boobs to stop him, stop her biting him. <laughs> it's like proper weird. Yeah. And then they all got caught in like an elevator, all these police with this vampire. So instead of the vampire biting the police, the police all decided to bite the vampire all at once. It's just like, it's really bad horror films on YouTube. That one was quite old as well. It must be from like the 80s or 70s. But yeah, there's some good like international horror films on there, which I would recommend. But yeah, Wrong Turn 7, that was really good. I don't, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it does have um, a really, really good like storyline, which kind of makes you a bit... I don't know, it's a bit like... Without saying too much, it's a bit like Texas Chainsaw when it, where everybody's in on it, if you know what I mean. But there's not many hillbillies. Have you heard of a film called... No, I haven't heard of a film called that. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it. But yeah, I don't... Um, no, I've not heard of a film called that. I will uh, write it down. Um, oh, maybe... One second. Yeah, there's a pen over here. I'll write it down for later. <laughs> I'm assuming it's similar um, to Wrong Turn with that kind of title. But yeah, I watched some of the, the later ones. Like, I think it was like part five or part six of Wrong Turn. And they were, they were completely, I don't know, they went off a little bit in like weird side stories like hotels where they were being run by the hillbillies like secretly the family that were the hillbillies in the wrong turn were running a hotel and it got a bit weird um is this can is a chainsaw wielding cannibal wow okay that sounds like my kind of film <laughs> but yeah it got i don't know they always get a bit silly horror films and they start milking the franchises and make like part 10 or something like that of you know, a 10 part slasher movie. They always get dead silly. Um, but on the odd occasion, you come across a sequel that's actually pretty good and actually stands alone as its own film. I think, I think it was Wrong Turn 7. It could actually have been called something else because it's unlike the other ones, but yeah, it's still really good. It could have actually been its own film. You ever seen Emmerdale? Yes, I have seen em Emmerdale. Um, not recently though, it's probably like when I was a kid, so I seen Emmerdale last probably like 12 years ago or something like that. My mum used to watch it all the time, Emmerdale. But yeah, I haven't watched it recently.
Wow, it's taking its time tonight. Come on. Paddy is the main character. I probably will know his face because my mum always used to have it on. Is Paddy the one who used to live in a farm house? Um, can't think of any other way to describe him, really. I think I probably will know him. I'll know his face anyway. If he's the main character back then. But my mum used to watch all sorts, like Desperate Housewives and oh, so it's Coronation Street, um, uh, EastEnders. Well, I can't even remember now. We used to watch like Most Haunted together. That was pretty good. That's the, that's the only thing I used to really like was Most Haunted. Oh, he's the main character in there. Okay, okay. <laughs> I get, what you, I get what you're saying. But yeah, soap operas aren't really my thing. Cheesy is, yeah. I like cheesy horror films. <laughs> if you watch Reanimator, Reanimator is a fantastic film. It's, it's completely different. It's a... Uh, it's like watching Evil Dead and it, it's just overwhelming with the amount of gore and stuff like that that's in it. But it's a bit like, because Evil Dead's a bit comical in places. It's kind of like a dark comedy. It's a bit like that with Reanimator where there's, um, I don't know, like little jokes that may be perceived as horror but still a bit like jokey. So yeah, not serious like some films are. That's what I like. You find them kind of films are more creative as well because they have like no boundaries and just completely weird like senses of humor and yeah, I love I love the creative aspects of them. Them kind of like B movie type horror films. You probably hear me say it a lot as well, but I like early Peter Jackson stuff. There's one I can't remember what it's called. It's about aliens, uh, a Peter Jackson film. And it's literally got this massive alien on the front cover with an AK-47 in one hand and a middle finger in the other. <laughs> it's just like, who makes these films? Yeah, Peter Jackson did, apparently. <laughs> Before he made like Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't remember what that film's called. Um, the one with the alien and the big AK-47. That's another weird one, where it has like, people being like sawn in half and stuff. I seem to remember the acting being really bad, but I think it's deliberately bad to the acting. Th they might be actually on YouTube, the early Peter Jackson stuff. I'll have a look. Here we go anyway, as a survivor. <laughs> Let's just get fixed in a generator straight away. Nobody's helping me as well. There's a guy stood right next to me before. Oh, please don't mess it up. I can say this person's probably going to come around and just start messing it up for me. <laughs> Someone's already been hit. Sneaky Derp 2 triple one has been hit.
Come on, let's, let's do it. Nice. I thought it was going to be another skill check right at the end and I'm going to miss it, but yeah, never mind. Yeah, they usually do. <laughs> oh, they usually throw me off. I don't know why. I start looking at the other person and then get like sidetracked a bit. <laughs> Seems to be pretty well as a team though so far. Looking pretty good. Oh, we're all together. Wow. All four of us. Um, You can do. Yeah, I don't know how we'd sort out the game. I don't know how it works in-game. Do you have a PC? Oh, it's Michael Myers. Yeah, after this game, I'll uh, back out and then... Um Hey, Mr. Glitch, how are you doing today? <laughs> but it's morning for you, isn't it, in uh, California? Ha uh, good morning. <laughs> I'll give you a couple of games. No PS4, but it's pro Ah, yes, cross-platform. He's right on me, innit? Come on, we've got to try and escape. Oh god, he's right on me. No! Go away! No one likes you, go away. <laughs> oh, he got me. Hammer down straight away! What? I don't think he was even injured. Yeah, I'm doing fine, thanks. Yes, excellent. I've been off work today. Not because I was ill, but because I was on holiday. <laughs> I booked some time off. There's not much to do these days when you're off work. So I basically watched the whole season of Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. And that's all I got up to all day. <laughs> ah, I was exposed. That's a skull in the corner. Right, right, okay. See, you know a lot more about this game than I do. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Ah, right, okay. It means it can be downed in one hit. Oh, come on. Please come and get me. I also like the original Unsolved Mysteries that's on YouTube. That's pretty good. Like the one from the 80s. What? I didn't get a chance to struggle. I didn't get a chance to struggle. What the hell? Uh, so yeah, call the raven. Um, I'll try and back out. And um, I don't know how you invite people on this game yet. Unless you can invite me. I don't know what you need to invite me. Let's have a look. Never tried it before. So it's, this is the first. Let's go back. Um, so, what do we need to go on? Is it friends? See your online friends and invite them to play together. I'm assuming this is it. So, I'm sure you need my name, Hi Crayfish, and then that hashtag number. Is that right? It's okay if it's a bit short notice, by the way. I can just quickly join another game while you set yours up. Don't mind too much. Alright, no worries. Yeah, we can, I can hang back for a bit. <laughs> I, can wait, I can wait for you. No worries. I don't think party chat will work in the um Does it does it work on 
in its own game. Because I know sometimes in Warzone you can play like party chat through the actual game. I don't know if it works on this because I've never done it before. Mind you, if you're the killer and I'm a survivor, you could probably stream snipe me. <laughs> You'd be my first stream sniper. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cheers. It can lurk. <laughs> or stream snipe. It's up to you. I don't mind you stream sniping me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Unsolved Mysteries, it's it's brilliant. I love Unsolved Mysteries. It's um it's really good how they've done the, the remake on Netflix. It's a lot different to the old one. It's a lot more um because there's only one story per episode as well, but there's a lot more detail in the stories. Yeah, it is on Netflix, yeah, it's brand new see uh, season. But if you've seen the old stuff uh, that's one second, view invite. Accept. Right, I think I'm in your hands now, Call of Raven, so wherever you want to go, I think... Do I click it or do you click it? Yeah, so it's, it's completely different to the old one, because the old one used to have like five or six stories per episode, and I think this one, it's just like one um, one case per episode, so you get like really detailed stories from like the families and things. I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> Oh wait, accept. That's strange. There we go. I'm ready. <laughs> so yeah, I would recommend watching that. It's fantastic, especially for like the old um, unsolved mysteries. You, you will like the new one. There's not been much out this Halloween. Like, you usually get like a Halloween film or something that's just coming out that year, but there's not been much this year. It's been pretty disappointed. But yeah. So I'll look at my loadout anyway. I'll see if, if I can uh, upgrade a few stuff in there. Level 9. I don't think I'm getting level to level 10. No, I'm not. Load out. Slippery meat. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that for now, I think. I like the slippery meat one. The matchmaking tonight seems to be really, really slow as well. I don't know why. When I was playing as a killer though, we got like matches straight away. Must be quite a lot of uh, survivors tonight. No killers. It is we can do a couple of survivor if we go back to kill. Oh no, I don't mind. I'm happy playing as a survivor. I'm totally fine with playing as a survivor. <laughs> It'd be cool if you like you could be the killer and then you you know the people you're playing with. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if you could do that. I don't think you can. <laughs> we will try and win it. Well, yeah, we'll try. It's the aim of the game. We'll try. <laughs> Attempt it. Here we go.
don't know whether we should carry something or not, I don't know. I'll leave it, I'll, I'll rank them up a bit, I'll get a few uh, a few things before I start using them. I want to know how to use them before I start wasting them. <laughs> Just waiting for the killer. Right, I'm going to try and stick with you, uh, Call of a Raven. <laughs> you seem to know what you're doing. <laughs> don't leave me! <laughs> please don't leave me over here, please! <laughs> Are you in the game yet? It seems to be taking its time tonight. I don't know what, what's going on. I don't know why the load screens and the matchmaking tonight is taking forever. <laughs> Let's go. I think that's you in front of me. So should we all try and concentrate on like one generator? Are we doing the generator or? Is that a killer behind us? The kill's right behind us. Try and fix the generator again, maybe. It's so eerie that bell. I hate the bell on this killer. <laughs> so creepy. So I think I can be downed again in one hit. Right, if you get hooked, Call of a Raven, I'll come and try and save you. Just one second. Try and get this generator fixed. It's coming back. Oh, it's right on us, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. Right, okay. I can see you. I can see you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Fix it. Fix it. God's sake. Run, run, run. Right, I'm going to sacrifice myself. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, man. Oh, God. God's sake. I missed the ramp. I completely missed the ramp. <laughs> oh, I'm underground as well. I'm in the basement. Are you down as well? Oh, I'm hooked. You're nearly dead, Call of a Raven. Oh, no. It's like he knows. <laughs> I 
No, I don't get a chance it, I can't. Oh, God's sake. I fixed one generator. The others are shit. <laughs> yeah, it's not us. It's not our. <laughs> We're the two on the hooks, but it's not us, I promise you. <laughs> Oh no, I do apologise, Corba Raven. I did try and save you, but just couldn't find the ramp on the way up to get to you. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm dying as well. I, I don't think I'm surviving this. Nope. Oh god. I guess we're on to the next one then. <laughs> That's terrible. It's like we're the f yeah warm up game. Warm we're practicing, practicing. We're getting used to each other's play styles. That's what it is. <laughs> and obviously, it helps if you have a good team as well. The, the other team are crap. Our other two players. Nah, I don't have enough. So I'm probably going to play a few more games and then, uh, I don't know, I might, I might play um, maybe about two more games, three more games before calling it a night. <laughs> nice, okay, bud. <laughs> But I'm sure we'll have fun anyway. Uh, come on. <laughs> Take you forever tonight. I can't believe how long these games are taking. What if like something wrong with the servers or something like that? The matchmaker doesn't usually take this long for me. But yeah, the um, Unsolved Mysteries, the Robert, the Robert Stack. I know he died a few years ago. The, the actual main, the main um, presenter of the show. But they do actually show him in the credits, which is quite interesting. You see, like, his outline in the credits, so it shows, like, this kind of paying homage to Robert Stack. I think that's what he was really famous for. I, I think in America, was it was he just, uh, like, an entertainer or something like that? But then when he did Unsolved Mysteries, that's what he, he became known for. Yeah, I really, I really like stuff like that. I also like uh, Ghost Adventures as well. I've been watching some of that recently. I kind of went off it for a few years, and I only recently just started watching it again. But yeah, I like Ghost Adventures because I watched Demon House with Zach Bagans, where he bought his own like house where all these like demonic possessions took place and loads of weird stuff happened. And then I started watching his actual TV series again. It's pretty good. It's some interesting like stuff. Like I don't necessarily believe in ghosts, but there's some interesting like evidence it does catch from time to time, which does make you think. Like, I think, I think some of it is like in people's heads, like you know, psychological these hauntings. But 
when you see some of the stuff they capture on like the radio scanners and stuff like that they have where it's like white noise and really all you should hear is white noise but yet you still hear like full sentences and not only like full sentences you hear the same voice repeated like the same tone so it's not like a random white noise it's it's, it's actually got a voice so yeah, it's quite interested in Ghost Adventures, but it's one of the TV shows you've got to watch. Like you don't see a lot of paranormal stuff take place straight away. You've got to kind of watch a few episodes. In in like one of the episodes, you might see something that's a bit intriguing. So I understand like why people don't really like watching them because they are not not really that entertaining to watch. If uh, if I'm honest, uh, but yeah, you get the odd episode where something really strange happens, and you think, wow, yeah, that's quite uh, quite interesting. Especially when you know it's not explained. There was one, I think was it, it was called Nick. Nick Grove or something like that it's called. I can't remember. He, 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 an, he used to be in Ghost Adventures up to about series three. And then he started his own, um, his own paranormal program. I forgot what that's called. But in that, there was a body found in a basement, which actually he heard over like an EVP white noise generator thing. And he actually heard the voice say there's like a body in the basement and it actually turned out there was a body in the basement. So yeah, there's some credible um, evidence out there for ghosts and things. It does, and it does yeah. When you, when you especially about that, where you, where you hear like a random noise generator told the ghost um, investigators that there was a body in the basement and it turned out there was. Oh, hello again. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. I can see a generator up ahead, so I think we should just go for the generator. Oh, the kill's right on us, the kill's right on us. Go try and sneak back. Hope he doesn't notice us. He's coming back over. I oh, know. I wonder why he stopped then. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was me. I am so sorry. I am really, really sorry. <laughs> uh, someone's down, but they're not that far away. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> I bet you're great in playing with me now. <laughs> Oh, he saw, he saw, he's right there. Crap. Run, run. Run, run, run. I'll try and run away from you so he doesn't get me. Wait, sorry, he doesn't get you. I'll run away from you. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Puts the head trap on me. That's interesting. Never actually played against the Saw character. Yes, I've got off by myself. Right, let's go. I wonder what the head trap does. That's quite interesting. <laughs> Will actually kill you instantly if you don't get it off your head or something. Right, let's go over to here anyway. The hell? You need to get that off, yeah. <laughs> I figured that. It can't be a good thing when he uh, puts a trap on your head.
Oh god. Oh no. Oh come on! <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get it off my head, am I? That is good though, I like the mechanic. Ah, oh, sake. I gotta try and struggle now. And the next thing we've got to worry about is the trap. If you do get me off. Well, right, I'll try and get his trap off my head. <laughs> He's nearly coming off my head. Go on. Oh, I've started all over again. God's sake. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I missed again. I'm doing so bad at this. Yes, there we go. Is it off my head? What the hell? Is it off or is it not? Or is it too late? God's sake, this trap is doing my absolute head in. Literally. <laughs> oh, he's right on me again. He's right on me again. Jesus. It's literally so unfair. This trap is so annoying. Yes. Why is it still on my head? God's sake. I think the kill is right back on me again. Come on, got to remove the trap now. Come on. How's it not off my head? Come on. I think it's going to kill me. I think it's literally going to kill me. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead from the bloody trap. Oh, God's sake. Why was the trap not getting off? How many times did I try and get that trap off my head? It was like three or four of them bloody boxes. What is going on? Oh, God. That was so annoying. So annoying. I still don't know how you get off the, the trap out of your head. Off your head. Am I doing it wrong? No goes to the boxes till it's off. The box is where you put your hands in. I think you're still playing. You're in the match. But never mind. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Oh. Only one of the boxes work. Oh, oh that's fantastic. <laughs> that is super annoying. Super annoying. Level 15. So, have it, can I get another perk now? No, level 10. Oh, level 9 I am now. No, yeah. Oh, God, you have to find the one. I think I'm liking the Saw character as a killer now. Should have got Saw. <laughs> it's pretty pretty good mechanic that. It's really hard to get off as well. Oh, 
Oh, claim rewards. How do you claim bloody rewards? There you go. The rift opened. Okay. Okay. New tombs are regular added to the archives. Each tomb is released. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, right, so they kind of like challenges, aren't they? You go back again. <laughs> So how are you doing? Are you actually winning, Call of a Raven? Hope you get out. <laughs> Do a lot better than I did. The hair looks really weird on this character. You won it. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you're back. <laughs> I should have stuck with you, really. I don't know why I bothered running off. <laughs> I just thought, if you run together, the killer's just going to chase us. So I thought if I like, double back and then try and get him away from like you, at least you'll have a chance. <laughs> Some CK with me. CK? Calvin Klein? <laughs> oh, stick with me even. <laughs> I thought it was the chat bot again saying, nope, you can't use that word. <laughs> Try and block you or something for using the word like F-U-C-K or something. <laughs> Yeah, we get a couple more matches, I think. If we play another two matches, we've, we've got to win one. We've got, we've got to both survive in a match. That's the, new, that's the new goal for tonight. At least get one match where we both survive. Agreed. <laughs> I need to get a new pad as well. It's, it's, it's like mad drift on this pad. It just doesn't stay still. You see it like wandering around the screen. <laughs> I am getting um, one of those pro pads with the paddles. You know, when you get the paddles on the back of the pad. I need it for Call of Duty for like drop shotting and stuff like that where you slide on the floor and cancel. But really, I could do with a new pad now, to be fair, while I'm playing on PC. Because the drift does my absolute head in. It doesn't bother me with controls as much. But it's still annoying. Taking its time, wow. Come on, matchmaking, you can do it. You can do it, matchmaking, you can do it, please. Hurry up, come on, you can do it.
Yes, there we go. Fantastic. We're finally in the game. <laughs> So can you not actually play as the killer and be in the like same game as your as your friends? So you can't like invite a killer to your game. Mind you, I bet some people would abuse it, wouldn't they? Like like boosting or something if you could invite the killer to the game you're playing and you actually knew the killer. Ah, right, yeah, if you do a custom match, fair enough. We'll have to get four people together. And do like a, a, a team of survivors, that'd be good. Maybe strategize a bit better. So I might call this one the last game of the night. Don't know. It's getting a bit late. It's like nine o'clock already. I've been streaming for two hours. <laughs> I didn't even realize what time it was. Just seeing the time. Well, it's nearly nine o'clock at night. I suppose, uh, I don't know. I might be able to play two. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I'm probably going to call it my last one. I did want to play a few, but the matchmaking tonight for some reason is so slow. I don't know what's going on. This is my last two. All right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> is it usually this slow or is it just me tonight with the matchmaking like, in between matches? It's taking forever. Oh, there you are. Hello. <laughs> right, nobody mess it up. Nobody mess it up. We're going to survive this one. But we'll definitely play again, Call of, Call of a Raven. We'll definitely sort some out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, the first one. <laughs> God's sake, I'm so sorry, I do apologize. Yes, we've done it. I am so sorry. Who should follow our friend? Seems to do pretty well. Here we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Great skill check there. Oh, we've got this one. We've got this one. Easy peasy. Nice. There's three. Are we just moving over to here? Straight away? Keep going? Let's keep doing it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm liking the teamwork here. <laughs> and I think we've got another one. Fantastic. Two down and um, two left, sorry. And then we've got nobody on the hook yet, which is good. 
Where's the killer? Oh, there you go. Someone's down. Where's this person going? Oh, they're there. Sorry, I jumped down. I do apologize. I didn't mean to jump down. I just seen the generator last second. Are we going to try and save that person on the hook? Or should we... Yeah, the kill's coming over. Here he is. Go and try and save the person on the hook. I'll try and distract the killer. It might not know I'm here. I think he's gone. He's gone from me. From the sensor. So I'll try and fix the generator again. I feel like we should save that person though. But at the same time we're so close to finishing. I hope the other player goes to save the uh, person on the hook. Yes. She's down. She's off the hook. Oh, what the hell was that? Near the scream. Then it kind of echoed in, head in my headphones. Wow. Like a surround sound scream. Like, what the hell's that? <laughs> Oh, fantastic teamwork here. Fantastic. I'll let you point me in the right direction. I'll follow you. I think the killer's on us, you know. I'm just going to try and run a little bit in front. Get onto this generator here. It's half done. It's half done, this generator. So, then we go to, for an exit, I think. And that's it. Jobs are good and Hopefully, all being well. Yes, here we go. Boom. Go, let's go for the exit. I'm just going to run for it. I'll run for this exit and try and get it open. Here we go. Oh, someone on the hook. Who's on the hook? Bakaboza. Someone, yeah, it's not you. Are you escaping with me or should I wait for you? Are you escaping with me? I don't know if she'll leave you. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to be mean. <laughs> Escape. All right. Okay. Okay. So it's that exit at the bottom I've opened. I hope you can see it. Have you escaped as well? We both escaped. That was a great one, that. that was Teamwork all the way. Do I play another? I've got a little bit of time. If you want to play another one, I just hope we don't take too long matchmaking. That's the only thing that's like stopping me. We both survived. Yeah. Do you want to end it there, or do you think we should play another one? It's up to you. Your call. Yeah, for sure. Go on. We we'll play one last one. One last one for the evening. I always say it. I always say we're going to play a last one, and then end up playing like two. <laughs> that was a good one. Got quite a lot of uh, blood points for that as well. 15,000. So level 10, I've got another perk slot now. So let's go to load out. Oh, not load out. Is it load out? Yeah, it's load out. Um, perk slot here. What's this? Deja vu. Unlocks potentially one's aura, reading ability. Paranoia paired with the horror of failure 
drives you to avoid repeating the same mistakes. The three generators which are close proximity to one another are revealed for 2 for 45 seconds at the start of the match. And each time a generator is completed. Okay, I'll try this one, Deja Vu. I don't know really what it does, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> I get the idea. Yeah, we did nail that one, yeah. That was pretty good. But it's the best match I've played ever that way. We just kind of like consistently went from generator to generator and succeeded. I messed up a few times though, to be fair. <laughs> we're, not, we're, we're perfect. I still need to watch uh, Doctor Sleep. That's something I've been meaning to watch. And I, I forgot to watch it. I'll probably watch it tomorrow because I don't know. I'm off again. I'm off work on holiday. Um, but yeah. They might watch it tomorrow, Doctor Sleep. <laughs> That's what you call amazing teamwork. <laughs> Thank you very much. So would you play anything else? You, uh, I'm always talking about Warzone. I usually play Warzone for fun. I don't think it streams very well. I don't really make good content streaming it. But um, yeah, I love Warzone. And again, that's cross-compatible. Uh, so if you're on PS4, I'll be able to play Warzone with you. Can't think of anything else that's cross-play. There's probably others, but... I don't really play like games like FIFA or any like sports games. I'm usually playing either like a shooter or a horror game. ESO. What's, what's ESO? <laughs> it's probably like the most popular game out there. I don't even know it. Is that like a Sims game, ESO? I'm thinking of something else. It's like Sims where you live a, like an RPG role playing. Like Elder Scrolls Online. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> See, I knew it was something like that. I knew it was something like that. I just uh, didn't get the abbreviation. I played Elder Scrolls Online when it first came out. I think it was before the Morrowind DLC came out. I think that was the first DLC for the game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I played it when it first came out, but I never got into it. Because I found the weapons a bit boring. Like I just kept finding the iron the iron weapons, just the basic iron weapons. And I couldn't really like grind to get the higher, higher ranking stuff. Wow, jeez. <laughs> a, vet vet a veteran rank of 400. You have all of them. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I might. I think I've only got the original version as well, like the disc, Elder Scrolls Online disc. I think I have the original version and that's it. I don't think I have any, any of the new stuff at all. Like I say, I got it when it first came out and I didn't play it really. I might revisit it. I do like Elder Scrolls. I like Fallout as well. Really big into Fallout. But I don't think Fallout's cross-play, which is, which is bad. Fallout 76, though. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I love games that glitch, but Fallout 76 is on, like, another level. <laughs> There's Somerset Morrowind just there for you. I think um, the one I'm talking about was the original, just basic Morrowind. DLC that came out. I think it was like the first DLC that came out for it, but after that I just didn't play it. I just stopped playing it. Yeah, base game. So, I don't know if you can still play. If you, I probably won't have any of the map packs. So I won't be able to explore anywhere. I'll just be like stuck <laughs> in like the main bit. I don't really, really know how big the map is on Elder Scrolls Online. I'd be interested to find out, because like I said, I was a bit disappointed at first with Elder Scrolls Online, but I haven't been back to it since, so it may be different now. And I might start enjoying it a bit more. I'll see anyway, I'll see. I'll, I'll put the disc in tomorrow and see if it still works. Yeah, it probably is cheap now. It probably goes on sale quite often. I'll have a look anyway. I have it on Xbox. Um, Xbox One. I'll, I'll try and install it tomorrow and see what happens. If 
But yeah, Fallout 76. I actually got Fallout 76 for free. But I do like it. I do like Fallout 76. It's not as bad as people make it out, I don't think. It's quite fun in, in parts. It's just that sometimes the bugs make it unplayable. For £8 a month. That's not too bad, £8 a month. I don't like microtransactions, though, <clears throat> and subscription fees and stuff like that. I try and stay away from it. I just... Just because I like to know what money's going and coming in. So I know it's only eight quid, but if you get like, you know, your Netflix, your Amazon, your whatever else you pay for, monthly subscriptions, they soon mount up. So yeah, I, was <laughs> I probably won't get it straight away, the eight pound a month premium. Not as bad as the uh, Fallout 76, which is like a hundred pounds a year or something for a broken game to be like Fallout first. It's, it's mad. I don't know who actually pays for the, the Fallout first pass. Oh, there you are. Oh, no, it's not you. Is it you? I can't tell. You don't have your name above your head, so I can't tell if it's you or not. <laughs> right, so here we are. First generator. Nope, you're running off. Nope, you don't bother fixing generators. Okay. So I'm straight onto a generator. Oh no, a bit too early on that one. A bit too early. Oh, he's right there. Wow, there's a spirit one. Oh man. I got a massive jump scare there. A massive jump scare. I don't think we're surviving this one. Oh, wow. Jesus. Hate the spirit. I think it's the worst one. I do not like the spirit one. <laughs> I got some of the pallet finally. Yes. Results. I think everybody's here. Oh man, I didn't think she'd notice me. <laughs> There's loads of people here, wow. I don't think you're going to get me back up either. So I just leave me here. Leave me here. Oh no, she's got me. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, did you sabotage the hook? Well done. Well played. I don't even know how you sabotaged it. I'm trying to wiggle. I'm trying to wiggle free. I am trying. I'm trying. Yes, I'm free. I'm free. Run. Yes, run. Keep running. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> I think she's ganging up on me now. I think she's uh, focusing on me too much. Oh, come on, I nearly pulled that down. I nearly pulled down the actual pallet. Oh, just timed it wrong. I think I'm being victimized here. Right, come on. There's one chance. Two chances. I'm going to take a third chance. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, I'm not going to try anymore. Someone's coming for me. Excellent. Thank you so much. Wait, I'll try and get over here. Try and get over here. Try and hide. There we go. I think it's the drift on my pad. It might not let you heal me. I'm not too sure. Yeah, apologies for the drift on my pad, Raven. I do apologise. Thank you so much. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I'd be dead right now. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, 
Oh man, someone's on the hook. Should you go and try and save the person on the hook? I'll just try and stick with you. Oh, do you want to fix the generator or? Yeah. I'll just follow you. I think she's in the basement, which isn't the best. Oh no. She's nearby, where the hell is she? I'll tell you what, I'll wait at the top of the stairs, then if the spirit actually comes, I will try and distract her for you. And see if that helps. Right, run. Oh, call the raven, no! You've been injured. Oh, she's right there. Wow, she got me. I didn't even see her. Oh, man. I ran right into her. Come on. That was so bad. Both timings were terrible. I think I'm dead. I think if she gets me this time, I'm dead. I should have wiggled. Sorry. I should have wiggled. Oh, I'm not doing great. <laughs> Just so unlucky. I literally ran round and ran into her twice. Oh, she's got me. Come on, wiggle free. Wiggle. No. No, I should have started wiggling sooner. Ah, oh, man. I don't think you get me off this one. I don't think you get me off this one. <laughs> get ready for a fatality. I'll have to speak to you from beyond the grave. Oh no. My finger's getting tired. Oh, thank you very much. Wow. Right, I'll try and get into a corner so my pad doesn't really affect me much. There we go. Is it the drift? Is is it me? One second. <laughs> so, going well so far. Do I need to heal you? Do I need to heal you? Or... No, I'll heal. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird that you can't heal yourself. I think, you, is it when you have the medi medical kit, you can heal yourself, but if you don't have the medical kit, you can't do it. There we go. So we've got three generators to go. Let's try and focus on the generators. Which way do you want to go? I haven't seen the hatch either on the floor yet. The generator right in front of us. Here we go. Wish us luck. Don't mess this up. Come on. <laughs> Not saying it to you, Raven. I'm, I'm saying it to myself. Talking to myself. Don't mess it up. <laughs> so close. It's going to be a close one this match. We've all got three generators to go. The killer's on us. The killer is on us. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Run. Run, 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 run. I think the killer's still chasing me though. Maybe not. Been picked up. 
I'll try and save you. We should come towards me. Can she see me on the map? Oh, she, oh she's camping on you. Can she see me? Where the fuck is she? She's near me and I don't know where she is. Call a raven, are you back on your feet now? Because there's someone down in front of me and I don't know whether to go over and help them. I'm healing. Okay, no worries. I'm just going to stay here for a second because someone's right in front of me so I might be able to get them off the hook if they uh, get put on the hook. Should I try and save them? I don't know, I can heal them. That was so close. She was so close to me. I didn't know if she could see me or not. That's why I was worried. I was like, can she see me? <laughs> oh, no. Right, we need to run. I'm going to try and run in this direction, I think. Oh, no. Where the hell is she? Is she up here? I can't tell if, if it was upstairs or downstairs. Oh no, she's down, she's down. So what I'm going to try and do... Try and hide for a second, maybe? Hopefully, hopefully she'll walk past me and not see me. And I'll try and save my teammate. Oh, she's already off, she's already off the hook. Thanks, whoever did that. Right, I'll try and exit, I'll try and go over here. And meet back up with you guys. I saved her. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so. Um, I'll try and find you guys. I'm sure you're nearby somewhere. Just keep fixing generators. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Oh, you're there. Wow. <laughs> Hello. There's um, a generator up here if you want to try and fix this generator. I think she's nearby, though. I think she's nearby. Oh, she's good. <laughs> I didn't even see her. Oh, man. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Don't try and save me. Run, run, run. I need to wiggle. Oh, God. No, she's got me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, man. Save yourself. It's me talking to you from beyond the grave. Save yourself. <laughs> Whatever you do, keep running. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight, guys. Uh, after the last... Fatality. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Carl Raven, for coming along and helping me out there. We had a fantastic match, uh, the last one. And that was a pretty interesting one again there, because... Uh, yeah, excellent matches. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll probably be online on Wednesday at 7 p.m. again, uh, playing. I don't want to play on Wednesday. I'll leave as a mystery for now. <laughs> no problem. Have a good night, uh, Call of the Raven, um, and everyone else who you know chatted with us. Uh, I really appreciate. It. Thanks for your support. Um, and I'll catch you on Wednesday, where we're going to be playing a mystery game. Mm, I don't know yet. I'll have to make up my mind. <laughs> All right. Catch you next time, guys. Have a good evening.